Good morning, this is Pamela, and you're listening to Watchmen on the Pod. For some reason, I could not get this computer to work for me yesterday. I tried, and I thought, well, I'm just not going to do it. And then I dreamed about getting these posted last night. So you, I do think about it. Uh, and then I got up this morning, tried the computer, and wow, there it is. So praise God. All right, we're going to continue in the sermon series by our brother in Christ, Mark Cohen, equipped to obey the Great Commission here. This is part six. Romans chapter 10, 13 through 14. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. How then shall they call on him in whom they have not believed? And how shall they believe in him of whom they have not heard? And how shall they hear without a preacher? Chapter Romans chapter 10, verse 17. So then faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of God. We preach Christ because one more soul needs to hear that the gospel of Jesus Christ is still the power of God unto salvation to all that believe. One more soul needs to hear, hear God's word, not just see results. Psalm chapter 19, 1 through 11. The heavens declare the glory of God and the firmament sheweth his handiwork, day unto day uttereth speech, and night unto night sheweth knowledge. There is no speech nor language where their voice is not heard. Their line is gone out through all the earth, and their words to the end of the world. In them hath he set a tabernacle for the sun, which is as a bridegroom coming out of his chamber, and rejoiceth as a strong man to run a race. His going forth is from the end of the heaven and his circuit unto the ends of it. And there is nothing hid from the heat thereof. The law of the Lord is perfect, converting the soul. The testimony of the Lord is sure, making wise the simple. The statutes of the Lord are right, rejoicing the heart. The commandment of the Lord is pure, enlightening the eyes. The fear of the Lord is clean, enduring forever. The judgments of the Lord are true and righteous all together. More to be desired are they than gold, yea, than much fine gold, sweeter also than honey and the honeycomb. Moreover, by them is thy servant warned, and in keeping of them there is great reward. Jeremiah chapter 26, 2 through 3. Thus saith the Lord, stand in the court of the Lord's house and speak unto all the cities of Judah, which come to worship in the Lord's house. All the words that I command thee to speak unto them, diminish not a word. If so be they will hearken and turn every man from his evil way, that I may repent of the evil which I purpose to do unto them because of the evil of their doing. One more soul needs to earnestly heed God's word. Listen thoughtfully, with diligence, with intention. Isaiah 55, 1-3 Ho! Oh, Every one that thirsteth come ye to the waters, and he that hath no money come ye, buy and eat. Yea, come buy wine and milk without money and without price. Wherefore do ye spend money for that which is not bread, and your labor for that which satisfieth not? Hearken diligently unto me, and eat ye that which is good, and let your soul delight itself in fatness. Incline your ear, and come unto me. Hear, and your soul shall live. I will make an everlasting covenant with you, even the sure mercies of David. Jeremiah chapter 29, verse 8. For thus saith the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, let not your prophets and your diviners that be in the midst of you deceive you, neither hearken to your dreams, which he caused to be dreamed. Jude 2 through 4. Mercy unto you and peace and love be multiplied. Beloved, when I gave all diligence to write unto you of the common salvation, it was needful for me to write unto you and exhort you that ye should earnestly contend for the faith which was once delivered unto the saints. For there 
are certain men crept in unawares who were before of old ordained to this condemnation ungodly men turning the grace of our god into lasciviousness and denying the only lord god and our lord jesus christ one more soul needs to acquire understanding of god's word acts chapter 8 verses 27 through 38 and he philip arose and went and behold a man of ethiopia a eunuch of great authority under candace queen of the ethiopians who had the charge of all her treasure and had come to jerusalem for to worship was returning and sitting in his chariot read isaiah's isaiah's the prophet then the spirit said unto philip go near and join thyself to this chariot and philip ran thither to him and heard him read the prophet isaiah and said and and said understandest thou what thou readest and he said how can i except some man should guide me and he desired philip that he would come up and sit with him the place of the scripture where which he read was this he was led as a sheep to the slaughter and like a lamb dumb before his shearers so opened he not his mouth in his humiliation his judgment was taken away and who shall declare his generation for his life is taken from the earth and the eunuch answered philip and said i pray thee of whom speaketh the prophet this of himself or some other man then philip opened his mouth and began at the same scripture and preached unto him jesus and as they went on their way they came unto a certain water and the eunuch said see here is water what doth hinder me to be baptized and philip said if thou believest with all thine heart thou mayest and he said and he answered and said i believe that jesus christ is the son of god and he commanded the chariot to stand still and they went down both into the water both philip and the eunuch and he baptized him one more soul needs to receive god's word matthew chapter 13 verse 23 he that received seed into the good ground is he that heareth the word and understandeth it which also beareth fruit and bringeth forth some an hundredfold some sixty some thirty acts chapter two thirty seven through forty one now when they heard this the preaching of the gospel they were pricked in their heart and said unto peter and to the rest of the apostles men and brethren what shall we do and peter said unto them repent and be baptized every one of you in the name of jesus christ for the remission of sins and ye shall receive the gift of the holy ghost for the promise is unto you and to your children and to all that are afar off even as many as the lord god shall call and with many words did he testify and exhort saying save yourselves from this untoward generation that they that gladly receive his word then they that gladly received his word were baptized and the same day there were added unto them about three thousand souls the word was preached brothers and sisters the word proverbs chapter 8 verse 33 through 36 hear instruction and be wise and refuse it not blessed is the man that heareth me watching daily at my gates waiting at the post of my doors for whoso findeth me findeth life and shall obtain favor of the lord but he that sinneth against me wrongeth his own soul all that hate me love death proverbs chapter fifteen thirty one through thirty two the ear that heareth the reproof of life abideth among the wise he that refuseth instruction despiseth his own soul but he that heareth reproof getteth understanding luke chapter eight verse eighteen take heed therefore how ye hear for whosoever hath to him shall be given and whosoever hath not from him shall be taken even that which he seemeth to have because one more lost soul needs to hear that the gospel of jesus christ is still the power of god unto salvation to all that believe we will continue to preach christ
just as if we were calling after a lost child in the woods we would cry we would continue to cry out praise god praise god all right brothers and sisters keep your eyes on jesus your nose in the book which is the word of god and embed the word of god upon the tablets of your hearts so you and I will not sin against God or be deceived.